Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this kind of sculpted matte feline eye effect look. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. There'll be a different title to what I'm talking about right now. But uh, yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to prime my skin using the Nivea for Men aftershave lotion, which is so good, but I think it's making a breakout. So I'm going to give my skin a break from it for a little while just to see what happens. I am going to use my favourite foundation, which is the Collection one. It's called Lasting Perfection. It's in the shade Porcelain to match my vampire skin, and it is fantastic, particularly if you have oily skin. I don't know whether that's down to the formula or whether that's down to the fact that I use an Eco Tools bronzing brush to literally pack that into my pores. I don't know if that's the case, but it's brilliant. I'm going to contour with my Smashbox contouring sticks. This is one of the best purchases I've made recently. Like, it's so brilliant. I don't know what I would do without it. Really, really good. So you get to watch me draw a whole load of lines on my face and come out looking like some sort of Aztec warrior, which is pretty cool, I guess. And uh, I like to use a sharp synthetic brush to contour my nose, by the way. Highlighting using the Urban Decay Weightless Concealer in Fair Neutral. Again, it's hard for me to find a really good brightening concealer that's actually for my shade, so this is the best one, just the best ever. And now it's time for lots of buffing and blending and packing, and it'll all look great when it's all blended out, I promise. <laughs> this is a process, though. It takes a while. I'm using a fantastic Nanshi brush to blend out my nose contour. These brushes are sensational, and I'd highly recommend getting some of them into your kit. I really swear by them. I'm going to bake with the Ben Nye Cameo Powder and a Beauty Blending Sponge from Real Techniques. Again, I'd like to try the Nancy one because it's meant to be fantastic. Brows. I am using Rimmel London's Brow This Way in Dark Brown, Anastasia Dip Brow in Medium Brown, and a Clear Brow Gel and a 266 brush from MAC. If you're using the Brow This Way, wipe off the excess because it will go everywhere. This is a really good brow gel, especially from the drugstore, it's really, really good. And it just, A, it kind of combs your lashes in the direction you want, but it covers them with just the right colour. I'm going to use my dip brow to draw a really nice defined line underneath my brows. And then I'm going to go fill in the sparse areas. And then I'm going to use a concealer, my Urban Decay one, to really sharpen out my under... <laughs> Luna looks so cute. I'm going to sharpen out my underneath of my brows and then I'm going to go over the top and sharpen out the sort of outer third and then you blend it out using a kind of clean concealer brush and it comes out looking beautiful. I am going to use the Body Shop Honey Bronze Highlighting Dome in number two and I'm also using the Pacifica Lip Butter in the shade Lava which is beautiful and then I'm going to go over the top of both of those with a powder brush from Revlon, that's mauve -less. funny play on word there. And I'm going to go over my contour with my favourite bronzer ever, which is the Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. This is the best investment you will ever make for a bronzer or contour or whatever. For highlighting, I'm spraying onto my highlighting brush some of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I used the Max Austin Gentle Nice Glow, wasn't massively taken, I wanted something better, so I used the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in Moonstone. Oh yeah, baby, look at that, look at that glow. <laughs> it's gorgeous, it's a really lovely tone, particularly if you're pale. So I'm gonna highlight my nose and my cupid's bow and my chin and my forehead as well. And I have also gone under my brow bone, but I'll do more of that later for my, you know, when I'm doing my eyes. So I'm going to prep my eye area with the Benefit Stay Don't Straight Eye Primer, which is the best one I've ever used. And I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette today. Starting for my transition color, I'm using Salted Caramel. Now, not only is this going to be a transition colour, but I'm using it to actually sculpt the feline shape. So I'm kind of doing an almost straight across line on the top and then dragging it upwards in a diagonal fashion. I'm going to spray a other blending brush with my All Nighter Spray and I'm going to go in on the Becca Skin Perfector yet again. And I'm going to do the highlight for my brows, but I'm also going to use it then to go over my eyelid. This is the only shimmery thing you will see in this tutorial because it's just going to catch the light where you need it to catch. The rest of it is going to be matte. I'm going to go in with milk chocolate and I'm going to sort of define my crease, sculpt out that feline shape a little bit more. This will also really help you if you find it hard to do a winged liner. This is a really great way to help because it just gives you some sort of rough guidelines. You can do as much blending as you want. I've blended a lot for this look because I wanted it to be not smoky. I just wanted to see it fade out nicely. I'm going to line my waterline and the inner corners of my eye using this Rimmel London Nude. It's like a nude. 
pencil and it's very very good better to use nude than white because it makes your whites of your eyes look brighter then I'm going back in the chocolate bar palette I'm using semi sweet on a pencil brush for under my eyes for the majority of it but then I'm going to take a sharper brush and I'm going to redefine the inner corner of my eye by dragging a line sort of diagonally downwards towards my nose and that's going to open out the corners of your eyes and just alter the way they look a little bit it's very cool and when you've done the liner it will look so awesome I promise blending lots of blending that's my Nanshi blending brush they haven't sent me these brushes I purchased them myself I just love them I'm going to curl my lashes and use my favourite mascara of the moment, which is 17's Falsa by HD. And that's a great dupe for benefits. They're real, by the way, in case you wanted to know. I'm going to line my lips with a collection lip liner. It's a nude one, but I've lost it. and I don't know what the shade is called. And then I'm going to go in with the Kate for Rimmel London lipstick in the shade 48. I think it's called Rosetto. And I'm going to go over the top of that with the Revlon Ultra HD Lip Lacquer in the shade Smoky Topaz. Beautiful, beautiful colour. Like, it's really nice. Um, I left my liner until last because I wanted to see how the look kind of looked in total before having to go in with the liner. It's one of those things I do sometimes. Sometimes I'll do my liner before lips, sometimes afterwards. So in this case, it was afterwards. And the thing to do with your liner, this is a personal thing, you can either start with the outer corner or you can start with the bulk of your lash line, which is what I'm doing in this case. So I'm just going to draw sort of on the middle third to the outer third right into my lash line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my wing. So this is the finished look. I really like the sculpted shape on the eyes. That's something that I really enjoy because I feel like it's nice if you have rounder eyes that you can work with a different shape and bring them to look more almondy or at least more more feline which is really really cool so i'm really i'm really pleased with that i really like that i will see you guys with my next video i'll be uploading every thursday and every sunday so stay tuned see you guys soon